proud son of Gala out of your name and not be forgotten. Shouldn't let Percy's sacrifice be in vain. Usually I berate Andy for this, but in this case, considering what she just went through, which is utter hell for her, I ain't. <sighs> Finn's working to try to make her feel better. Give her a cat face, and uh, it should work, you know. No comment. Anyway. Okay. Everybody looks like they're good to go. So we'll move on over. We might encounter some new enemies now, but at least we have a team to work with. I actually like that setup. That actually looks good. Mold and Killer B. Alright, so Samson can't do much, but he can still attack. And Edward's got some fire, so we'll have him use it on the Killer B. That powerful enough to take that thing out. Oh, that hurts like hell. Right, we'll wrap up that battle right there. Not bad. All right, Samson and Edward should gain a couple of levels because this is the first time they've been fighting. the spell attack level one now this spell in the future is gonna be a godsend you will definitely need that pretty much raises the attack of one person and Edward is the only one that can learn oh we found a herb yay all right we're gonna go up here all right now I remember there's a, a path that goes out of the way that you can find some stuff that's right there's also a pastor here. And here's a tumble wrap. And he ambushed us. Ooh. Not for the eyes. It's gonna be rapage again. So much rapage. Sometimes I wonder if I should just record for the hell of it. We'll let you guys enjoy your own form of rapage. Now, before we continue, since we got four party members, we can set up the formation a bit better. Finn and Samson will head up there, but we'll have. Annie and Edward right behind them. Leave the third spot for something. At least for now, our casters won't have to worry about being back there. Alright, so we talked to this guy. Brother Thomas, I was meditating in these caves and I can't seem to find my way out. Would you please guide me to the exit? Sure. Yeah, I got you there. Okay, okay, so he's gonna follow us out. Actually, it's helpful if we do that. Ah, Cabal's. These guys are like the thieves, and you can get a lot of gold off each one of these guys. Um, this will take a little bit, so let's go ahead and uh, skip this. I also forgot to mention, they can be also assholes and just leave. They can run like bitches. Which makes them worse than Annie. So congratulations, you'll find an enemy like that. Speaking of Annie, she reaches level 5. Fantastic. And we only got the experience from the killer bee. Alright. I just realized we have to go back down this way because, um... <laughs> Crap. Crap doesn't deserve to be recorded. Well, Samson got his first dose to be in curse. He uh, couldn't move through one turn. Pretty much sucks to be him. And me, since the enemies are just. Well, really? I like bunnies as much as the next person that thinks bunnies are fluffy and awesome to us. But seriously, I'm getting sick and tired of these. They don't even they look like some rabbit bunnies, and those red eyes look like they are fucking shutting down. Especially with those jump kicks it's doing. Well, we'll have to play Itachi and massacre them. Sorry guys. Fluffy, dangerous, destructive bunnies. But they did help uh, Samson get to level three. Edward also needs to level three. I think they're leveling up at the same rate. Awesome. Okay. Alright, now, um... Let's take a look. Alright, um... I will give... Edward the Ring of Defense. Yes, please. He can also cast... He can use the defense on that for, uh, whatever... You know, you get the idea. Use the defense ability. Oh, there's a chest. 
source of agility. I think this raises speed. Um, I don't want to give it to Samson because he's not in a position to really benefit from it. So I'm gonna hold on to it. It's helpful. Stop tossing us crap. Man, these crappy boss fight, uh, these crappy mob fights are worse than grinding the series at 2.0 in PS2. He's actually coping for that. With Gears 2, at least I get destructive pleasure of using a Brumach. Gears 2 is gonna be awesome. So awesome, McDickface. It's actually gonna be fantastic. Ugh. You know, if, guys, if you guys comment on the videos, you can tell me whether or not you want me to keep some of the mob, mob fights in. I mean, for time constraints, I won't keep them in. Um, obviously, I'll do boss fights, but uh, if there are any particular ones you want me to do, yeah, I don't mind. Just like for this one. Let's get the idea. Ugh. Ooh, we got green slimes. Now, I know for a fact these are stronger variants than the original slimes. They can poison. Um, for a better, for a better adjustment, we're just gonna skip. Okay, so during the battle, um, one of those green slimes did in fact poison Annie. And, uh, if you get poison, the text, the VP, and the LP would turn green. It would turn a different color, just like how Samson's turned, like beige when he got cursed but uh in annie's case cure level one which annie knows what can cure the poison and can remove it so it makes it easy but anyway the battle's done we got some good experience and it looks like samson reached level four not bad not bad and edward reached level four as well all right awesome so we're looking good for now so we're gonna head up these stairs. And here's the end. Thank you for guiding me. I will be seen in the end of the crossroads ahead of you if you need my assistance. Let's go ahead through. Meanwhile, back near the puzzle and the border church. Mistress Ramula. Prince Edward and his body has closed and broken the gate to Zelig. It will take a while for the gate to fix. That so perhaps you lack the motivation to find them quickly enough. Perhaps knowing that the next time your life will be extended, you will be more motivated. Should we begin the repairs? No need. Now I wonder why. A waste of effort. They will not get any assistance there. Okay, I honestly am not liking the bitch right now. And that's pretty much a good reason right there. Fuck. Alright, there we go. Alright, so, um, coming out of the cave, we see an entrance to another cave and this giant green forest here. This giant green forest is not, like, just a normal forest you can walk through. There's actually a maze in there. So, for the time being, we're gonna head over into what's called the Mountain Cottage. Gold is my inn, 40 gold per night. Yes, we will. We got a decent amount of gold from that adventure, too. I'm trying to, uh... My, my, when I first started this playthrough, I knew I would run from a lot of fights, but I'm gonna make sure I don't do that so I can just rack up the gold easily. When you stay at an inn, uh, VP, LP, and MP are healed to play. And, uh, here's the guy we saved, Brother Thomas. We'll go ahead and, uh, save here. Um, this is also a good place to uh, stop for now because uh, this forest maze we're coming up to is not fun and uh, the enemies do get a bit tougher. So anyway, coming up on the next episode, we're going to go through that maze, try to get through it as best we can, and then after that, it's just a sort of hop through another cave right into Zalagoon, uh, where we're hoping to get some help. Uh, before I even go into the forest, I might go check out the other cave just so that you guys will know, but um... In any case, this is Fan of Avi B, guys. I will see you guys later.